Hey again everyone, Chris here at Marine Max in Pompano Beach. Today we're checking out a brand new 2024 Aviar 32 that we just took out of the shrink wrap. Unbelievable day cruising boat, progressive styling as you can see in these sharp, more angular lines. Kind of has a European look to these Aviars, but they are built right here in Florida and a division of Mastercraft boats. So this is the 32, the entry level version. Here on the hull side, you can see we did a white accent up against a dark gray main hull color. And that dark gray works its way into the hard top. And then underneath will be that contrasting white color. So beautiful design, big stainless pop out cleats all the way around the boat and then these small receivers here are actually for a quick release fender system so you don't have to worry about running to try to find a cleat when you're trying to tie off fenders quick tab release and they got them on both sides of the boat let's go ahead and hop inside and check out the rest as we take a look at the design in this Aviara 32 with the dark gray and white contrast theme, we decided to pair the boat with the twin 300 Verados in white versus black. Just kind of continues to complement that white and gray theme. But a really cool design in Aviara, as we've seen with all of their models, is this bleacher style seating. But as you see with all the seats down in their down position, I do have more of a traditional sun pad. And then what's really cool is they have a design in these backrests to be able to actually ratchet into position. So they'll all three work their way up into an aft facing lounge three wide and it allows me to have these backrests actually pop up into bar stools so it gives me a different vantage point to be able to sit three of guests comfortably across the aft end and then three more can sit behind them without staring into the back of the person's head in front of them so a really cool use of space back here in this 32 seating design but something really cool underneath these seats is you actually have concealed storage underneath all of these so this is where your battery switches are going to be this is going to be where your single point flush system is for your outboards as well as your freshwater fill up as you can see all molded fiberglass no raw exposed edges i've got a nice gasket and a uh, gas assist strut to keep all of these up but plenty of storage underneath here if you wanted to toss some extra gear and as was mentioned battery switches and onboard battery charger no shortage of cup holders back here and we are doing some chilling out on the beach Tons of cup holders, tons of seating, and then a neat entry light here as well. So if I can push that button, it'll actually illuminate all my lights as I work my way into the boat. Underneath the floor here is a really cool use of space for your fender storage. So they have individually slotted uh, holders for your fenders, so you don't have to worry about having those take up a real big compartment anywhere. As I work my way inside, you got a nice two step down into the main cockpit. I do have an in floor drain that is actually concealed underneath this piece here. So all the water will drain down into the floor and overboard. All sea deck material runs throughout the entire boat, but just look at the amount of seating you have in this 32 foot boat. All cup holders recessed underneath. And as I, if I mentioned in the progressive styling, you can see in the speaker covers, the grab handles, all of my accents are all matching and just a beautiful design extremely comfortable seating this is all a cool touch vinyl so it's middle of the day here in florida summer and i can put my hand directly on this cushion and it doesn't burn me so it's a completely different fabric design come on by and feel this fabric for yourself to know what i'm talking about as i look under my seats i do have tremendous amount of storage underneath all of these compartments a carry-on cooler branded there with aviara but as you can see some of the fit and finish details they actually back so all of these cushions that have the Aviara logo embossed there underneath all of my cushions and a tremendous amount of space even from starboard to port side it's a nice walk from one side to the other it's a 10 foot 4 beam and then underneath my summer kitchen here you can see that I have dedicated bottle storage I have a built-in cooler as well great great place to just toss extra gear that you want for the day they do keep themselves up on a gas assist strut and then underneath my storage is more storage so i've got no shortage of storage on this boat as well and a cool design in aviar we mentioned the carry-on cooler but we give you two so underneath the wet bar is going to be a secondary cooler so if we did have a bunch of people on board that day we can keep all our drinks nice and icy cool we do have not one let just slide behind you show you this dedicated trash receptacle number one and dedicated trash number two so i got two trash cans on board always difficult to find a place to toss all your gear for the day and uh, nice to have two spots to be able to toss your garbage 
What I like about this seat is when the windshield's closed and I've got all the people inside the boat ready to go, this acts as a great leaning post. So I've got a, a grab handle right here, great place to re lean up against if I wanted to stand while we're underway. So I do like the observer seat here. And one thing Aviar does very well is the use of space here at the helm. So I love the fact that the seat is double wide so my spouse could sit right next to me. Bolsters flip on, up and down individually, but if I wanted to have the bolster up, lets me see above the windshield and I got a great place to be able to drive the boat here. Beautiful design in the steering wheel, an Italian manufactured steering wheel actually, so a nice statement piece when you are at the helm. My left tablet is gonna control all of my systems on board, my extendable sunshade, my pumps, my lights, my switches, everything controlled at the left tablet. Simrad multifunction display in the center, and then your engine diagnostic screen here on the far right hand side. I do have a couple manual buttons as well. And then a cool thing here is this is actually an inductive phone charger. So I can slide my phone right in there, get it charged up for the day, and then trim tabs just in front of that cup holder. I'm sorry, the uh, phone charger. Digital, digital throttle and shift, joystick, convenient storage for my VHF radio. And then underneath, cool feature as well, these cup holders are actually chilled. So I control those by the left tablet as well. I can turn the chillers on and keep the beverages nice and cold there for our captain. 32 gives me a massive day head. The door will catch on a magnet and I'll show you just for size at my height at six foot three. I can walk down in here comfortably. Like I said, doubles as a changing room, but a nice spacious head, sink, storage, and a grab handle here to help me on my way in and out. Aviara definitely known for the amount of freeboard they maintain up into the bow. So you can see how high these gunnels are as I work my way forward it gives me a great sense of security. I do have a closed off door if I wanted to knock off the wind into the cockpit. But up here in the bow, a great comfortable boat, a safe feeling boat if I wanted to do an open ocean cruise or head to the Bahamas. The seating up here allows you to sit comfortably as you can see, really hits me high in the backrest. Tons of space at my height to be able to lounge up here comfortably with additional stereo control, cup holders, speakers, lights all up here. And then the stereo is zoned off into different sections. So if I wanted to just have music playing up front, I can shut off the rest of the boat and just have my music up front here. All padded bolsters all the way around with an optional filler cushion insert here in the center. And then cool feature here in the bow is my completely finished out anchor locker. So you've got an easy, clean, low maintenance area up here to rinse off my ground tackle. I also do have a freshwater sprayer up there in the bow as well. Thank you so much for taking a look at this Aviar 32 with us. Again, my name is Chris here at Marine Max in Pompano Beach. You can call me on my cell phone if you have any questions, 727-460-4175. Thank you.